Point number two was controlling Kalonzo Musioka. This is a long story and I think I need to write a book about this. In 2007, I'm talking about the person of Kalonzo Musioka, 2007 was my first attempt to get into politics as an elected member of parliament. I stood in Kangundo constituency and I used at that time, not Kwaipa, but ODM Kenya. ODM. Kenya. When we got into the elections, Kalonzo was a presidential candidate. And if anything to do, my contribution in this campaign was over 70% in terms of everything. Even I had to pay single handedly person the agents who represented Kalonzo in polling stations. And when I realized that he is going to lose, using my whole relationship with the president at that point, by then, President Mwai Kibaki, I told him, you are going to lose. So the best thing is let me use my connections with the President Kibaki now to negotiate with him so that after the elections are over and the results are out, we can find a way of working together. You know, God, God who created me being my witness can also told me, go, and if anybody gets to know this, Remember one thing, I've never seen you and talked to you. I went, I informed President Kibaki what I'm seeing and the way things could be at the end of the day. And Kibaki told me that is the way to endelea namnayo, to answer kukaribiana. And then we started. Kalonzo can testify as a high witness the way I brought Joe Hamisi, Lucas Maida, Professor Kaloki and late Kazanga Mulwa into the negotiating table. And within two words, two weeks, we had worked a formula that we are going to apply. So when the results were announced and the Kibak came up with the less numbers, there was no time wasting. That you saw that coalition of working together was worked out in a very short time or short time and then we sit down now Kimunya Musila Kimunya uh, John Meshuki Mushua Musila and myself and said an agreement four of us four of us to form a coalition that deal was done. So if Mudama was not there to direct Kalonzo where to go, the money would have been just uh, including ourselves in the opposition with very small number of MPs comparing to Kibaki and Raila Molodink. I'm surprised he doesn't appreciate that. And if that is what he calls selling person, I leave with to Kenyans to determine and decide between me, me, between me and Kalonzo Musioka who has been selling and misusing the other person. He became the vice president. I was just a government chief whip and I started by giving government chief whip by being deputy chief whip and then I went after though uh, lost the election I became the chief whip of the government but he remained the president of Kenya so 2013 I worked for him because he could not become anything alone anything alone you could not become. And I don't want to say here what happened between himself, Ruto, and the Uru. He knows and is aware of the question that was asked to him by President Uru Kenyatta. 
at that time being a deputy prime minister. If I would raise and put that question, question to Kenyans, they will, they will be surprised what kind of a person is this of Kanonzo Musioka. I don't want to go into that. And when I realize he has lost, I bargained with the Raila for him to be running me to Raila. He was not able to do that. And th that's why he takes it like I have been misleading him, misdirecting him. But he could not do it for himself. 2017 was the same. And now instead of appreciating, yes, Mudama worked on this, I was to be the deputy president now, he goes the other way around and starts criticizing and saying that he has been all that time sold and marketed to certain destinations. Now he's with Uru. And we saw the other day the Murade who received him. Murade who received Kalonzo saying Kalonzo stands no chance in that setup to be the presidential candidate. The person who should be considered and he should be he should be used to working with him is Raila Moloding. Who sold him now to that kind of a situation? It's not me. Secondly, We saw the minority leader who comes from his party in current government of Nairobi, where Jubilee is involved and ODM is involved, and he pretends them to be partners. That fellow, Mr. Mbangula, was removed from being the mi minority leader in the current government of Nairobi, and yet he pretends to be in the coalition that brings ODM, Jubilee, and himself together, and his interests are protected there. So who sold him to that situation where today he's only scoring zero? He never attempts everything he does, the answer is zero. Everything he does, the answer is zero. He should be courageous and stand as a politician and be firm and make his situation and the position he stand be understood by Kenyans, but not yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, you, you know, a situation where nobody will understand. He should leave me alone. I've supported him all those years. He had never supported me at any given time. And now since I've realized with his leadership, we are not going far, and being a Kenyan who supported Raila, being a Kenyan who worked with the Kibaki and supported Kibaki, being a Kenyan who supported Uru in 2002, a Kenyan who has got no inclinations when it comes to tribal arrangements, he should leave me now alone to feel free and then join whoever person I want to join. And currently, just to erase any doubts, that could be there, and where Mudama is standing. I'm standing with William Samoy Ruto. Us, us, a person whom I believe, with the support he is getting from Kenyans, that he stands to win the elections in this country. Why am I saying this? I've said it before, and I want to repeat it today, Sunday that for the first time ever central province have given an indication that they can vote for someone outside their own. What does that say? You know, without missing words, Kikuyus are viewed as the firstborn of this family Kenya. They are regarded as the first born child of this country Kenya. And I believe 
that by that indication and if that happens there will be no tribalism in this country again and for me now to show solidarity and show that I also understand the politics of this country I had to read two signs and then say I have to support my brothers and sisters and my in-laws from Central